Aubrey Huff had it all, at least so it seemed. But a curveball of circumstances before and during his major league career kept the left-handed hitter seemingly left at a loss. You look around, you know, I have a great house, made millions of dollars in baseball, I have a beautiful wife, healthy kids, uh, two World Series rings, everything you could ever want, but I was still miserable. For me, growing up without a father, I was so insecure inside. You lost your dad at the age of six. What happened? My mom comes walking in from Winn-Dixie. She's crying. She walks up to me and tells me my father's no longer coming back home. He got tragically murdered in Abilene, Texas by a lunatic madman with a gun. I was six years old and fatherless. I think in a lot of ways, looking back at it now, baseball became my father. What did baseball provide for you? An escape. An escape that became an odyssey of 13 seasons with five different teams. Half spent with Tampa Bay, where his career began. It was a lot of losing. I was having great seasons in Tampa. I was team MVP a couple years there and was just sick of finishing in last place. And that love that I, that I started, that I had as a kid, slowly started to dwindle. And that was starting to be a concern to me. Aubrey moved on, signing his first free agent contract with the Baltimore Orioles. This is really unique. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the cycle I hit for in Baltimore there. Uh, very rare to do as a hitter. And what's even more rare is I got every single ball from my cycle, the single, the double, the triple, the home run. The lineup card, the jersey, and the bat. Despite his on-field success, his restlessness grew, infringing on his pregame approach one day inside the clubhouse. We got a game in an hour, and I did not want to be there. I was tired of baseball. And a teammate walked in and said, hey, man, looks like you're struggling. Comes back with a little orange and white pill. Without hesitation, I popped it. Within 20 minutes, it's a euphoric feeling I couldn't even explain. I couldn't wait to get my spikes on, my uniform on, and hit the field. It was in that moment that I knew I was never going to play baseball without this stuff on Adderall. And I felt like a kid when you're eight years old playing Little League. How did it improve your game? Well, baseball is a game of, of mental toughness, right? And you know, in a lot of ways, I think Adderall is even more potent than steroids or HGH because in baseball, you need to be mentally strong. And what Adderall does is it makes you feel invincible in your head. You're no longer afraid. You're not nervous before a game. I was the cockiest, most brash, arrogant guy you could ever imagine being around. When did you realize you couldn't get off of it? I have every intention to quit it during the offseason. And I found myself going the offseason taking it the very first day. When I didn't take it in the morning, I felt depressed, bored, anxious, irritable. It made me a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, turned me into somebody I hated. In 2010, Aubrey signed with the San Francisco Giants, finishing the season seventh in MVP voting, leading the team to their first World Series title in 56 years. This has got to be your most memorable moment. Yeah, when you're a kid, man, uh, winning a championship uh, is a pretty special thing to do, and I was fortunate enough to be able to do it in 2010 and 12. Just months after the 2010 championship and with his marriage suffering, Aubrey entered alcohol and drug treatment, but his Adderall addiction continued. His wife, Bobby, filed for divorce. Alone, Aubrey cried out for help. And I remember getting on my knees and praying, crying to God, I got to get off this stuff, Lord, please, Jesus, I need you. I cannot do this anymore. I take the pills and I dump them down the toilet at four in the morning and flush them. And I woke up the next morning, I thought for sure I'd want a pill. I didn't want one. The next day I didn't want one. From that moment on, I never had a craving to take another Adderall in my life. And you haven't since? Never since. How do you explain that? How do you? You know, you know that's, that's a God thing, 100%. Without Adderall masking Aubrey's insecurities, a growing anxiety emerged. I always thought people that had panic attacks were mentally weak people. They can't handle the real world. And I'm like, no, not me. Sure enough, I uh, go to the doctor and that's what I was diagnosed with. The consistency of it and the strength of it got worse once I retired out of 2012. Not only the transition out of baseball, but the panic attacks that I had to deal with the transition was suicidal. And you nearly played that out. I did, I did. I went to my closet, I opened up my safe, I grabbed my 357 Magnum, I hit my knees, and um, I pointed it right at my head. Looked in this full mirror, then all of a sudden I pulled the hammer back, and it got real. And that's all I had to do is pull the trigger. And I realized my dad was murdered with the same caliber weapon. And I'm like, wow. Put it down. I started crying to God, I'm supposed to be here with me. I thought you're in my life. And this thought came to me, he's like, Aubrey, if you want my perfect peace, you have to give up control and have faith in me. And it was that, that day where I realized I've got to start living for him, not just pretending. How do you surrender control? For a professional athlete, 
you're taught to put on this warrior mentality to not let the other team see any sign of weakness, right? It's hard to take that guy on the field for all those years and to transition that into real life. And I think a lot of my anxiety stemmed from that. How do you give up control? I'm still learning how to do it. To give up control is more about just being in peace of where you are. Read some scripture until something resonates with me. And I try to apply that in my life every day. Aubrey's marriage has been restored. His perspective is grounded in the source of his restoration. While painting collectible superhero baseball originals for fundraisers, Aubrey's also authored a book, Baseball Junkie, to encourage those battling anxiety and depression. God had to break me down to build me back up. Now, I knew I never really needed an earthly father. I had one the whole time. My heavenly father. Who is Jesus Christ to Aubrey Huff? Well, he's everything. He's my Lord, my Savior. I mean, thank you so much for dying on the cross for me. How could you ever forgive a guy like me? I struggled with that free gift of grace and forgiveness. And so for him to give that love back, that grace, that mercy, that to me is Jesus Christ.